we have already explored several special files like page.tsx, layout.tsx, template.tsx, and notfound.tsx. Now let's look at another important one called loading.tsx. This file helps us create loading states that users see while waiting for content to load in a specific route segment. The loading state appears instantly when navigating, letting users know that the application is responsive and actively loading content. Let's head back to VS Code to see how it works. Creating a loading state is pretty straightforward. You just need to add a loading.tsx file in the right folder. Let's try this out for our blog route segment. Within the blog folder, create loading.tsx. Default export a React component. Export default function loading, which returns an h1 loading. Behind the scenes, this loading.tsx file automatically wraps the page.tsx file and its nested children within a React suspense boundary. If you're new to the concept of suspense, don't worry about it. In the browser, if we navigate directly to localhost 3000 slash blog, you might notice we don't actually see the loading text. That is because our blog page loads super quickly. The blog page content replaces the loading text in the blink of an eye, but trust me, it is working. To prove it, I'm going to introduce a delay with a promise that takes two seconds to resolve. So export default async function blog, and we await a new promise which resolves after two seconds. We then set timeout, we call the resolve function. I'm going to pass intentional delay as the value that is returned from the promise. Now, when we go back to the browser and reload the blog page, we can see the loading text for two seconds and after our promise resolves, it gets replaced with the blog page content. Right now, we are just showing basic loading text but in real applications, you can get creative with this. You might want to use skeleton loaders, spinners, or even show a preview of what is coming, like a photo or title. It is completely up to you how polished you want to make this. Just remember to put the loading.tsx file in the correct folder. There are two really cool benefits of using loading UI. First, it gives users immediate feedback when they navigate somewhere new. This makes your app feel snappy and responsive, and users know their click actually did something. Second, Next.js keeps shared layouts interactive while new content loads. This means users can still use things like navigation menus or sidebars, even if the main content isn't ready yet. The loading UI pattern makes sure these loading states don't get in the way of the parts that are already working, giving users a smoother experience. All right, that is about loading.tsx for instant loading states in the app router. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.